Hey everyone, Jeff Teague here. Today we're talking 2024 Grand Highlander. This is big because we've got all three powertrain choices. I'm gonna show you the differences and then which trim levels have them. We've got three volunteers today. First one, Grand Highlander XLE Ruby Flare Pearl. How about the Limited? Grand Highlander blueprint color. And this one's also a Grand Highlander Limited. It's in midnight black metallic. When doing your research, it's important to know that there are three different powertrains. That's right, one, two, three. Speaking of three, there are three different grades or trim levels to choose from, XLE, Limited, and then Platinum. Now, the gasoline version, that's one of the choices. You can get the hybrid version or the big Mac Daddy, the Hybrid Max. This one right here is the turbocharged gasoline. It's 2.4 liter turbocharged, matched with direct shift, eight speed automatic transmission. You can get it in either front wheel drive or dynamic torque all wheel drive. Dynamic torque control all wheel drive allows you to send additional power or torque, not only to the front wheels, but to the back wheels, and then it can distribute it left and right based on where you need it most which wheels are getting less traction, which ones are starting to slip because maybe you're in mud, sand, things like that, snow, rain. <sighs> this one right here is the hybrid. It's the one of the three engines where you will not see the word turbo. You'll see it on the gas, you'll see it on the hybrid max, but not on the hybrid. This is a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine matched with electric motor power that's gonna give you 245 net hybrid horsepower. This engine for the hybrid, it's matched with an electronic on-demand all-wheel drive. So it operates like a front-wheel drive vehicle, okay? Just like that, until it needs it. Then it'll send power to the back wheels. This is with an electronically controlled continuous variable transmission, CVT transmission. Smooth, good acceleration, Think you should try this one. And what if you match the 2.4 liter turbocharged engine with electric motor power? Well, this one gets hot and it gets heavy. Call this one hot and heavy. 362 horsepower and a crazy amount, 400 pound feet of torque. Hybrid Max has a direct shift six speed automatic transmission and this is full time all wheel drive. So now we've got three different trim levels. Remember XLE, Limited and Platinum. What are you gonna do if you want one of one, two, or three different powertrains. Can you get all powertrains on every trim level? Not quite. Let's say you choose you want the gasoline version, that 2.4 liter turbocharged engine. Which one's it available on? Well, you can get it on the XLE, you can get it on the Limited, and you can get it on the Platinum. So that's an easy choice. And for these next two powertrains, we're just gonna eliminate one trim level for each of them. If you want the hybrid, you cannot get that on the Platinum because they got that hybrid max. So you can get hybrid, the 2.5 liter four cylinder engine with electric motor. That's gonna be XLE and Limited. And then the hybrid max, well, you can get that on the Limited and the Platinum, but not the XLE. And let's say that a different way. The XLE, well, you can get the turbo gasoline and the hybrid. The Limited, you can get all three, gas, hybrid, hybrid max. The Platinum, you can get the gasoline turbocharged and you can get the hybrid max, but you cannot get the hybrid with that. Here's the estimated fuel economy if you're wondering. We've got it broken down between XLE, Limited, Platinum, and then we've got different configurations for those. So take a look here. You can really get with the gasoline version 21, 28, 24 combined, but then you can see where it goes between 24, 23, 22. The hybrid moves up to either 33 combined or 34 combined. And then the hybrid max, it's gonna go down because you're getting more power with that one. 26 city, 27 highway, 27 combined. Thanks for watching everybody. Let me know which one you would choose. The gasoline, the hybrid, or the hybrid max. They're all good choices for a lot of different situations. And I'm really curious to see what the percentage of people would choose. So let me know. I'm dying to find out. Thanks everybody so much. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube at Toyota Jeff Reviews and Auto Jeff Reviews. And we will see you next time.